Hi there, Mark is here with another tutorial for GLS2. Stamen Design has this beautiful website that is called the Map Stack, and since those guys are great, they allowed me to integrate that technology to GLS, which allows you to create custom styles in minutes. Now let me show you how that works. We need to create a new server profile. So I go to my preferences, open the server profiles tab, click the little plus, and call this my map stack profile. Now I'm selecting the map stack API, and this is what we can see now. This pretty much is a layer based map style editor, which is absolutely awesome and powerful. So let me show you how to work with it. So first, on this side, you got layers, like you can um, add them, duplicate them, and remove them. And just beneath this layer stack, you get all the properties of the currently selected layer. So let's call this base. And now I can select the map layer here, which is either a solid color or imagery. Let me use watercolor for now. You then have some options, for example, invert the colors, you can change the opacity. You can change the brightness, the saturation. And you can also color tint this. Of course, you can set an amount. You can also mask this, for example, just to the water. And you can set a blend mode. This one doesn't make sense now because we have only one layer here. Now let me go on. I'm going to switch off this mask and in the preview map I'm zooming to London. Now I'm adding another layer called this water. This is going to be solid color and I'm going to mask it to the water here. Now I can say all right, I want to multiply this. Let me reduce the opacity a bit. There we go. I like that one. Create another one. Call it streets. And select the toner lines image layer here. Now I have all my streets. And since this is a separate layer, you can of course color it separated from any other layer here. So I want them to be orange. And I turn up the brightness a little. Now I'm just missing some buildings. So I create another one, call it buildings. Also select the solid color here. And mask it to my buildings. That's a bit too dark. I like it this way. You can create up to five layers here. And you can of course swap the order by just dragging them around. Note that if you have transparency in your map style, you should keep crossfade zoom levels checked, otherwise switch it off. When you're done with setting this up, hit apply, close the prefs, create a new map comp, select your new style and hit create. And that's how it looks in GeoLayers. Have a great day, bye!